Occupy Los Angeles activists say the banks are getting away with what they call the crime of the century. Activists with Occupy Fights foreclosures are protesting a settlement agreement reached between federal regulators and the banks. They say the banks only agreed to the multi-billion dollar settlement to avoid criminal prosecution. The banks realized that uh, they had a major problem in their hands and they decided to go to the regulators and uh, offer them money to, to go away. And this is what has happened. The settlement brings relief to the banks, but only a few thousand dollars to homeowners. These homeowners say the money is a disgrace and will do nothing to help them. I feel kind of betrayed to the way that things are happening after living in America 47 years and own a home for 42 years. The settlement will end reviews of foreclosure abuses, despite evidence of numerous examples of fraud across California and the country. Homeowners say this means that once again, the banks will not be held accountable. Making settlements with banks for peanuts, $28 billion is peanuts. What they, what they have violated is worth probably trillions of dollars. And we are the victims, not the system. Supporters of the settlement say investigating the banks would have been too risky to the economy. But activists say the banks destroyed millions of families and should be punished. So what do we do? We turn our face the other way, just so that the economy will not suffer any longer? The economy is damaged already. People have no jobs. People are losing their homes. We need to deal to the root of the problem. More than one million Californian homes have already been lost to foreclosure. Before the housing crisis ends, the state is expected to lose an estimated 700,000 more. Activists with Occupy Fights Foreclosure say they will continue to hold rallies and demonstrations against the government and the banks until homeowners get their share of the settlement that the protesters say they deserve. Ross Frazier, Press TV, Los Angeles.